Now Mother's Day is coming up right around the corner. Uh, as I record this, it's just about five weeks before Mother's Day. Mother's Day, remember, this year is on, let's see, I'm looking at my calendar, May 11th, uh, Sunday, May 11th of this year, and you want to prepare ahead of time uh, to get a nice gift to thank Mom for Mother's Day. With that in mind, though, I'd like to discuss three gifts you should never get for your mother on Mother's Day. Uh, this should serve as a warning to you, uh, all of you kids who are bad shoppers. These are the things to always avoid uh, purchasing your mother for a gift on Mother's Day or any other holiday for that matter. The first thing you should never buy your mother for a Mother's Day gift is a plant. Now, flowers are nice. And I'm talking about on a flower arrangement or flowers that have already been cut and placed in the vase. Uh, not as a gift all by themselves, but maybe as a you know, starter gift before the big gift comes up. Whatever you do, though, do not get her a plant that needs to be taken care of. Uh, you know, like you, a plant is a burden and not a gift. It's something she has to take care of and raise. She already did that with you. She does not want to have to do that with a plant. Uh, that would be very insulting and not a particularly good gift uh, to get your mom. The second gift you should never get your mom is a cookbook. Never get your mom a cookbook. Books make great gifts. For example, a first edition of one of the books she used to read to you as a child. Now that would be a nice gift, very sentimental, has a lot of meaning. But a cookbook, on the other hand, implies several things. Uh, it implies, one, that she should still be cooking in the kitchen, and it also implies that maybe you don't like the food she's been cooking so far. Cookbooks can be a very insulting gift. The final thing you should never get your mom for Mother's Day is perfume. Uh, especially if you're picking out a different perfume than what she usually has. Besides implying that your mother smells bad, uh, purchasing perfume uh, also suggests you want your mom to smell pretty and sexy and that has some undertones we really do not need to get into here. So avoid these type of gifts, plants, cookbooks, and perfume by all means, but find something really nice uh, for your Mother's Day gifts. You've got a few weeks to prepare now. Uh, visit a site like uh, OnlineShoppingChick.com for reviews of lots of great gift products that you can purchase online. Uh, find out what the best prices are, find out what other people think of them, and order ahead of time so you're not late with your Mother's Day gift.